Hi, welcome back to this masterclass number seven on interproximal attachment gain on Osteocon. I think this is a very interesting lecture and uh, because we are talking today about uh, the, uh, the, the, the change, we have seen the evolution in the previous lecture and now we see how to improve simultaneously both the uh, soft tissue and the bone. So we will talk uh, about this group. We start to talk about this group of uh, techniques. We have seen uh, in the previous lecture the group of techniques designed to use the periodontal membrane. Then we have seen the group of techniques to control the intrabony defect without the membrane, so only with the growth factors. But all these techniques with the papilla preservations were focused, aimed to regenerate the intrabony component only. Let's see this case. This case now, let's talk about interdental attachment loss, interproximal attachment loss. Do you want to think about this with this patient? This patient went to a few dentists and all of them said that all the teeth need to be extracted in the lower jaw at least. But he didn't want, so he came for a second, third opinion to me. And uh, he's an engineer, well-educated, and he says, it's, come on, I want to save my teeth. And like the previous dentist was just not diagnosing. They were just looking at this panoramic through the glass, through the window, and says, okay, this teeth need to be extracted. But they didn't check the vitality. They didn't check the, uh, for example, the mobility. For example, this tooth is, is the only tooth moving. The tooth number 37 is the only tooth that is moving with a grade three mobility. The other teeth are stable. Can you believe these teeth are stable? And uh, so take a message from this part of the presentation of the, our masterclass. The soft tissue wall technique is a, a little bit tricky procedure, but it's fantastic because it helps you to, is the best choice every time you want to correct soft tissue simultaneously to an intrabony defect or a bone, also horizontal bone defect. And you can control simultaneously the bone loss and the soft tissue. And uh, so you can advance your flap coronally and you can uh, improve both the aesthetic of the patient and the prognosis of the teeth. And with this, I'd like to thank you.